Hi everyone, it's Dark Jail Plays here and welcome back to Magic. Uh, I say welcome back because if you haven't seen already, we streamed this the other day. You'll see the video uh, somewhere on the channel. You'll probably get a recommended video for it at some point. Um, it's an odd little action roguelike uh, where you play as a chicken who has a vendetta against frogs. Don't ask me why. I don't know why. I'm sure there's a story behind it. I don't frankly get it. On the last video, um, oh actually let me just explain some things here. So when you click play, you get your chicken here obviously you'll see some wands on the right side here so you can actually create more wands so if i go into the wand creation thing here you can choose a, a wand design they all have different reasons for having them so you've got one that casts two spells in sequence one that casts a triple spell in a cone shape pattern a one that costs cast a continuous rapid fire spell or the one that i've got at the moment which is a one that launches a numerous cast of magic projectiles you also get a wood that you can make that out of i've already got the best wood um ladies uh eggdrazil uh you can buy some runes which also cores which can go in them um so in this case here i've got the wisdom core and i've got a chaos core so wisdom in this case doubles my experience when i defeat enemies and chaos core allows my projectile to blow up basically you can then also get uh enhancements and things or runes that you can add on so there's one which does um slowness uh what's that pull enemies away i don't understand that one um burning and then this one here is uh, life gen regen and then uh, the power to cast lightning upon the hit enemy spreading to the by enemies quite nice you could buy more chickens let's cover that later it's a rather funky one there with a uh, pair of sunglasses which i like but i've got the uh, this one here which is summons one chick every four levels chicks will make sense in a second because obviously i'm a chicken and then you've got the final thing here which is upgrades you can buy for different things so in this case here i can increase two seconds in the elemental minigame that will make sense don't worry and then i can fuse different cores together make a better core so if i go back to the cores here so obviously i've got um reflecting my projectile 180 degrees i don't really like that one i've also got the ability to do double damage i'm going to buy that and then i'm going to go in here and i'm going to upgrade that so i can do three cores and then i'm going to also buy one level in that so i can increase two seconds in the elemental midi game and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this uh, build this here i don't know why this bit's here to be quite honest but uh, it is so i have to go through it um i don't think it makes any difference if you're right or wrong in the way you do things we then choose our wood, so common wood, minus wood, which makes enemies drop gold, or this one, which is just better damage. Place where you want to put it, and then uh, I'm going to. So, but the hunter's call, which is um, causing double damage, which I'm going to put in here. Um, I've then got my chaos call, and then I've got my wisdom core as well. Put them all in there, and I get this one, uh, which is this one here. So it's triple core. And then I hit this one. And I just have to be really thoughtful about how I'm going to do this and just place these in the right place. It's basically just click and hold over the signs. And if you're lucky, they'll all be close enough together that it won't cause you any problems and you won't have to move around too much. Four is the most I've ever had. And four will be the most I've ever had because you can't get this fifth one done in time. Ah, oh, not quite. Right. And then you get to call the name that you want. So we will call this um, uh, Agatha. Why not? And then we're just going to play. So. This is the game. He's going to kill things. Blah, 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 blah. And then you get your upgrades. Now, what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to pick one of these. I don't really care what it is. Um, let's confirm you. I'm actually going to come out of here. I'm going to go give up. Uh, and then let's go return to the hub. Because what I did on stream was I just played on planes one a few times. I'm going to play on the swamp now, and I'm going to play with Agatha. And away we go. I've not played on this level, so it should be interesting and fun. So as you can see, I've got huge amounts of shots uh, per thing, because I've got the best wand. Uh, salt rain is very good. It rains salt every six seconds, dealing two damage per second for every six enemies. There, four six seconds to all enemies. And you'll see it happen in a few moments. Um, they're not very good. We'll take Salt Shaker, though. That's fine. There's no limit to the amount of uh, upgrades you can get, so don't worry about it too much. Ah, I've now got a health bar up here. When I was streaming this, I had no visible thing for the health, and it was really annoying. That's the Salt Rain, by the way. They've made an upgrade to this, which is quite nice. Uh, we could get more Salt Shaker. Or we could go for... You know what? Medusa's head's not too bad. They've done quite a big update to this. I'm impressed. There we go. Now it's just a case of running around and getting things. Uh, what are you? 
heals 100% of your life. Not with all of that. And a shield that protects you from one hit. Yeah, go on. Yeah, this is big quality of life stuff. I like this. I've got a chick because I went up four levels. Uh, let's take ooh, wisdom increases your XP bonus by 10%. I'm already getting double XP anyway. I've now added 10% on top of that. Oh, hello. What are you? Ah, oh, this is pointing me to a chest. Oh, that, is that a chest? Oh, nice. Yes, yeah, so they've changed the, uh, the end. There was no animation for that before. You just walked over it and it happened. Uh, so, pinch of salt increased the duration of salt rain by 30%. We'll take that because that integrates with what we've already got. That's a chest. Gives me some money. Which I then have to go and collect. Um, so boomerang is another weapon, which we'll have. Thank you very much. I'm liking the quality of life in this. Hello. Can I shoot you? It looks like I can shoot it. I can. I can hit it at least. Whether I can kill it or not is another matter entirely. Let me take this one. I've not seen this one. Shoot one lightning bolt every two seconds, dealing five damage. We all know I like my lightning, so... Alright, we get Salt Shaker. We'll take the Electric Zone, because that's a local one. It's like garlic. I'm just going to leave it on net. I can kill it. No, it didn't do anything, though. Let's go get this chest over here. I like the uh, the animation change for that. It's very good. I've got two chicks. Uh, right, arcane shot is fantastic, so we'll take that. Shoots bullets up and down for me at the moment until I get more upgrades. Ah, right, the dark dudes are like shadow demon things. And they drop you chests, which gives me a tornado in this case. Ah, I just walked into those guys. Uh, let's increase my base health. So it's now up to 22 from 20. It was only a 10% upgrade. So, Right, we get uh, little balls. Increase the number of spheres on the satellites by 2. Haven't got satellites yet. So increase the maximum health by 20%. That's not too bad. But decreases my base speed. Increases chack, chick attack speed. We'll take that because I've got two chicks at the moment. Until I get an upgrade for that. Because there is one. Or there used to be one. Not too sure if there still is. Obviously, with updates, there's always going to be things which get taken away. Let's go towards these chests. Uh, that's better, I think. It used to be uh, a little bit different. We'll take the arcane shot. You'll see in a second how that's different. What is that happening on the screen there? All right, balls, battery, or sliced bread. Size of the electric zone. Let's do that. I don't know what it is, but I feel like I need to walk away from it. I do indeed, because it's hurting me. Quite what these toads are doing to me with the uh, expanding balls and goo, I don't know. Right, more wisdom, which means more XP. Which means more levels, which means more level ups, which means more powers. Uh, is there a map at all? No, I don't think there is. Okay. That's fine. I do have a third chick now. Let's go down here for this chest. Right, water element is my... Uh, it's the runes that I put on here. So we'll take that. That'll be the last level of that, I think. If not one more, maybe. Let me get another chest. Carnivorous plant. Execute enemies less than 3% health. That's not bad. But I'm going to take Unicorn Horn. Increases the damage of arcane shots by 50%. You'll find out why in a little bit. Oh, we've got the bigger dudes now. Bigger boys. Kudos to anyone who remembers what that's from. Bigger boys, miss. And ooh, so we could upgrade the level of the chests. But we'll take... Yeah, we'll take that. So that's the money chest, not the um, the power chest, if you like. Thank you. And now we get more money. That's fine.
Right, it's just gonna survive now until we get our next level up. Which isn't far away to be fair. Ooh, electrical discharge. We'll take some of that. I could have taken the uh, level up for the um, electricity, but I'll just do this one for the moment. And we have. I uh, haven't got any of those at the moment. We'll take the little balls. Right, give me your chest. Thank you very much. What do you give me? Yeah, electrical discharge. That's fine. We will take salt rain. That's fine. I could have taken the balls for. Um, show you how that works essentially but we can always get that later like i say there's no limit to the amount of upgrades and things you can get it's just however long you survive for more arcane shots because we are getting it we have got the upgrade for the arcane shots and you can see them shooting off in all directions then Right. Oh, we've got tadpoles or something, whatever they are. Again, the game doesn't really tell you anything. There's a, a short animation at the start when the game first boots. Ouch, that's damage. Um, but you don't see any more of it, so. I will take uh, some Book of Wisdom for more XP. There's a chest down there I just need to go work towards. It's only a money chest. Uh, more arcane shot. You'll notice there's little dots underneath each upgrade. The more of those you get, the more uh, higher level it is, basically. Um, and when you get to the final one on attack ones, active attack ones, the uh, the more you can get a choice, or you used to be able to get a choice of three primary or final upgrades for. Just saw a chest spawn in then. Right, so we'll take Electric Zone. We could also take Zeus Punishment. We could take Electric Zone. And we get uh, nothing I really care about. Tornadoes we have got. So we'll take that. There's a Shadow Dude here. There was a Shadow Dude here. They're all dead. And we get Poisonous Gas. That's fine. So now that obscures all my chickens, or my chicks, I should say. But not to worry. Yeah, we're getting to the point now where I start to get overwhelmed a bit by enemies. For four seconds. Why would I want that? Let's take Zeus's punishment. Right, come on, let me through. Just want to get this chest. Ah, good. It's a decent upgrade chest as well. There's far more of these now. <laughs> uh, increases life, executes. Uh, let's take that one. Yeah, it took us up to 24. Uh, Book of Wisdom. Again, more upgrades. Another one here, lovely. Uh, yeah, we'll take that, I think. Um, oh, no, damage. There is a chance I can get both of them, so it's not the end of the world. Ah, right, we've got bazooka dudes. Right, let's take the satellites. And you'll see I've got one just around me now. All right, the bazooka guys are annoying. It's almost like they've got homing bullets, especially when there's about a billion of them. I will. Ooh, I could take Salt Rain again. But I'm going to take Arcane Shots. The bullet bubble. Thank you. Which I've now wasted. <laughs> I didn't realize it was just going to be on the floor. Uh, we'll take Zeus Punishment. That's fine. Give me some gold. Run away. I see that shield.
Ouch. So the good thing about this wand is I'm effectively out healing any damage to me. Um, at the moment, at least. That may change. Will change. Oh, did I go past it? Owie. Right, let's see what's in here. Crowns. Decrease time spawn of relic chest by five seconds. I mean, yeah, we'll take that. That's a relic chest, by the way. Not this, the uh, the one I had before this, the one that gave me that. Yeah, Frost Steps is fine. It's a bit boring, but it'll do. Um, let's take that. There's nothing overly interesting in there. Ow. Okay, too many enemies are currently alive. Ah, ghost chicken. You become intangible for three seconds. Goes through obstacles and frogs. But I'm going to take salt rain. Because the three upgrades you get for salt rain, or can get for salt rain, are great. I still have no dash. Must remember that. I don't know if that's something any other cat eggs, uh, egg chicks even can get. But I don't have it, so. Boomerang? Yes, yeah, so we've got attack speed as well. Oh, no. Celestial Splendor. We'll take the boomerang. I have had the final upgrade for Celestial Splendor because Celestial Splendor on its own is kind of boring. It's just a, a single laser which shoots out from your wand. Um, and it's okay, the final upgrade for it. Uh, I could take some healing factor or I could just take some ephemeral flames. There's the flames. <laughs> Rather nice. Very short though on the upgrade. Uh, Apocalypse is great. So it causes a thousand damage to all enemies on screen every hundred seconds. Now bearing in mind most of these die within like 20 damage. There are some enemies later who do take more than that. Uh, let's take Frost Steps. Uh, electrical discharge or balls? No, it's electrical discharge. Let's go. Get this relic chest. I don't know if I get the bubble, I guess. Not that it's going to last long. Right. Oh, that's a new one. Arcane shots pierce through the first target? Yes. I will take Medusa's head. Bearing in mind that's not a direct damage one, it's just a um, uh, kind of a passive help to you. Oh, we have a boss. So this is new. Hello there, sir. I mean, you're going to die. I will take Arcane Shot. Just press space trying to dodge it did nothing too busy playing other games that have dodges you're dead you give me a scythe which i can't see oh no i can't pick up divine resurrection now upon death you will revive and eliminate every enemy around you uh a scythe orbits around you dealing 50 damage six scythes that cut nearby enemies dealing 40 damage that makes more sense i like it so that's new wasn't at least on the first level. There's Apocalypse. Second level on that, so that's good. It just lowers the timer for it. There's a chest somewhere down here. Ooh. I think that's just a bigger money chest. That was Apocalypse, by the way. What are you? Congratulations, you obtained a one fragment. Ah, okay, yeah. That will make more sense. So uh, when we go back to the main menu, I'll show you what that is. Um, you get certain one fragments for better ones that you can't craft. We get um, crystallized electricity zone. Yeah, we'll take that. Much fewer enemies now, which is good. The bad thing is, fewer XP. 
I think each one actually gives more XP anyway. Eh. Wasn't great. Need more enemies, please. It's not often I say that in one of these games. Right, we have load rubbish. Right, boomerang. There's a chest over here, but no way of going any faster. It's just money, of course. There's a relic chest again. We get loads of these, which is great. Ice cream in winter. Increase the slowing effect. Okay. Increase the coin XP collection area. Oh, I quite like that. I'll take that. Right. Sixty-four, five. Ooh, hello, apocalypse. Thank you. Ow! I took some damage, and that's annoying. Being shot by things sucks. Um, all right, let's take the tornado. And we get broken hourglass, reduced cooldown. Yes. Broken hourglass is going to be so good. I have a chest. I didn't even know this. we killed something for this. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Movement speed. Movement speed's okay, actually. The thing is, the maps are so huge and you can't really... Like traverse any quicker than you walk. Oh, that chest is lost to me for the moment. going almost to another level I say almost we're two-thirds of the way there three quarters nine tenths <laughs> oh and a relic chest right as well basket of eggs increase the number of chicks in the chicken egg by plus two or magic ring increase the time to generate common relic oh, I don't, yeah. I've got to say that we are a chick magnet technically um, which is a weird thing to say um, let's do the pirate's treasure Bit of gold in the chests, basically. Again, it's not the relic chests, it's only the money chests. Bye bye, everything. On the previous update to so this, the one that I played on stream, uh, they changed visuals as you level them up as well. So maybe they've reduced that now. Because they have changed the way the relic chests look. They didn't look anything like that at all. And we get, ooh, maybe, the chick shots pierce through the first hit enemy. Yes. Yes. You just about to see them in there. I've got tanks on me. Tanks for everything. Right. Um, let's do movement speed. We will have another chest. What's that? Eh, yeah, that's fine. So 28 health now. Which again, it's not massive. But I'm also at max health and I will pretty much always be at max health until I get much later into the run. Ouch. Um, more balls. No, we'll take the water element. That's the final one of that. So we'll never see that again. Just to remove it from the pool. Another relic chest. Eh, uh, no. Poisonous gas, probably. Had a feeling that was just the money one. 
more apocalypse uh yeah more apocalypse Oh, completed this map. Well, that was fairly easy. Right, okay, let's return to the hub. So that was um, that was the second level of um, magic. I've got a lot more that I still need to do in terms of, obviously, I've got the dunes to do, the junkyard, desert, and then we're back to the plains again. So we're going to do a few more of those videos. I may uh, work my way towards trying to get the special ones at some point. I'm probably going to stream this again because I quite like it. It's a very easy to play um, <laughs> kind of power uh, trip action roguelike and I do quite like it. So if you want to see it, uh, subscribe down below, follow me on Twitch and so on and so forth. You'll see all those links down below in the description as well as Discord and various other things as well. I'm always online. Um, you know, I'm terminally online, <laughs> sadly. Um, yeah, pop along, see me any other time. Subscribe to the channel, buy the game, do whatever. See you later.